Now concerning our brother Apollos, I strongly urged him to visit you with the other brothers, but it was not at all his will to come now. He will come when he has opportunity. This is quite a passage. I mean, who is Apollos? Well, in chapter 3, uh, Paul answers the question, he's just a servant, just as uh, Paul is. But we often think, well, Paul's an apostle. And if an apostle requested that I go to Corinth, oh, I would go. But Paul didn't say he requested that Apollos go to Corinth. It's, he says he urged him to go. If an apostle urged you, wouldn't you do it? But then he actually says, I strongly urged him to visit you. Wow. Apollos decided no. Or he said yes, but not now, to make it more positive. It was not at all his will to come now. So here's my first question, which is really question 11. Do I feel at liberty to make my own decisions? Even though Paul was an apostle and certainly had tremendous authority, we in our day don't have apostles. I'm not saying that leaders in church have no authority, but it's certainly at a lower level than the apostles. Do I feel at liberty to make my own decisions? Or do I feel cowed, like I don't really have a choice? Apollo shows us that there are times when we should say, yes, but not now. No, but I will consider it, or, or, or later on. And then the question for the leaders, this is the 12th and final question of the podcast. If I'm a leader, do I allow others the liberty of making their own decisions? Now, before you answer that, as every leader I know would say, of course I do. It's their will. They've got, they have to own it. You know, they have to deal with the consequences. Let me, let, me, let me extend the question. Do I allow others liberty of making their own decisions, or am I so forceful that they feel they cannot say no? And don't say, well, I'm just very persuasive. They always say yes. Am I overly forceful? I mean, Paul was forceful, it seems. But Apollos said no. And the next verse doesn't say, Please uh, pray for our brother Apollos for more humility. Paul, Paul's just relating the news. Apollos said no. Paul said, okay. You know, I really want you to go, but if you won't come now, at least you'll come later. That'll be great. No problem. He's not down on Apollos. Apollos is in, in the doghouse. Well, these 12 questions are all writ written in the podcast notes. We need to wrap this up now. In conclusion, we need more Apollosis. Where are the men or women of faith who will uh, learn the scriptures as Apollos learned, who will write books or engage in, in actual debate, who will be uh, standing up in the public arena and defending the cause of Christ? Apollos should be an upward call. He is to me. He's very inspiring. But if we only say, yeah, but he's an exception, He's an exception. Well, he is an exception. I mean, he, there are a lot of things about him that are exceptional and commendable. But think what you're saying. He's an exception. I don't have to do what he did. Well, true. You probably don't have to do exactly what he did. But then are you absolving yourself of all responsibility to learn from him? Because if we only say he was an exception, we let ourselves off the hook for our own responsibility. One, to know the scriptures. Two, to engage with others. And ultimately, three, to allow the Lord to use us as he, he sees fit.